Excellency retired Brigadier Julius Madabio, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, is transforming the country by investing in human capital. Women are equal partners in development and the government is committed to creating an enabling environment for women to realize their full potential. The Hands of Our Girls campaign is the flagship program of the First Lady of Sierra Leone, Madame Fatima Madabio, and it was officially launched by President Julius Madabio with support from other African First Ladies in December 2018. The Free Sanitary Pad Project is an auxiliary pillar under the Hands of Our Girls campaign which seeks to address the silence emergencies of girls in school. Um, I realize that menstruation is a taboo subject in this country. I realize that um, even the girls that are seeing their menstruation are too ashamed to talk about it. And if you don't talk about your problem, you don't get a solution towards your problem. I'd like to tell girls that they should not be ashamed because of menstruation and that menstruation is not a choice and if you're being provoked you should not be ashamed because it's natural it's a good sign that you're healthy also not pregnant during menstruation period you have girls absenting themselves from school one maybe they do not have the facilities to maintain hygiene they do not have sanitary towels but with intervention the attendance has also improved. The use of sanitary pads have to start quite early. It gives you confidence. It gives you the air that you know you can continue to do everything, including games and sports, even when you are going through menstruation. It is not something that you hide from. It is not something that you run away from. It is something that you can do most hygienically. We believe free sanitary pad is a right of our girls, not a privilege. Therefore, we must support the free quality education with the free sanitary pad. Girls that I know still use cloth, otherwise known as pieces, during their menstrual cycle. And we all know how harmful that can be to their health. So um, her providing the sanitary pads for us and also promising to continuously produce it for us as long as she's first lady is major because this is a major step in her actually actualizing the theme for this year's Menstrual Hygiene Day which is action and investment in menstrual health and hygiene. On this International Day of Menstrual Hygiene, as Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, I just want to commend the First Lady, Her Excellency the First Lady, for a fantastic work that she's doing in ensuring that education, and girls' education and healthcare are discussed and are those issues related to it are being addressed at all levels across the country. With the introduction of the sanitary pass, we no longer see any stains on their uniform and that is very good for us because they are very comfortable in their classroom they don't walk out because sometimes they used to tell us we have to go and see uh, that we prepare ourselves properly before we come to class but with the introduction of a sanitary pass children now sit in the class without going out to make sure that they clean themselves and then come back to class that is no longer happening as we celebrate the international day of menstrual hygiene I want to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to His Excellency, the retired Brigadier Julius Madabio, and Her Excellency, Mrs. Fatima Madabio, for this very good initiative. So with this, the distribution of the sanitary pad, I think it's a laudable venture by Her Excellency, and we need to applaud her for, for, for her, her venture. Indeed, she is a mother. We need to put a capital S in the sanitation and I think what the First Lady is doing really just exemplifies how important uh, menstrual health is uh, in general but also how that's a major factor in, in the Ministry's portfolio and we want to be able to partner with her, to work very closely with her to not only address the men menstrual health issues but sanitation in general 
not only at the central level in Freetown, but in every district, in every village, in every community, to make sure that their sanitary health is as important as their normal health. This is one of the opportunities that I've ever witnessed in this country. We are in somebody is meeting people who have been struggling to have access to sanitary parks and uh, she decided to give them free. It's an opportunity for this country because it has been a very serious matter until for those of us who are coming from the rural areas and uh, we know when that situation confronts young girls we know the kind of trauma the family, the parents are going through and even the individuals. Amid the successes of the free sanitary power distribution project and it being recorded as one of the most successfully implemented projects for girls in Sierra Leone and by extension Africa, there has been challenges. It's not easy and uh, buying the sanitary pads, the 59,000 sanitary pads that we have um, for the girls this year cost at least about $611,000 um, $611, and that money was raised through different means, through fundraising. We had to do dinner, we had to do another dinner, we, have to do, we had to do the One Nation concert. So we had to do like three different kinds of fundraising to be able to have that money and buy the sanitary pads that we bought for the girls. So funding it and sustaining that funding, that's um, one of the things that really are my worries and my concern. But I'm hoping that with the kind of achievements that the project has achieved um, through the appreciation of the girls and the way the girls receive it and the, the, the appreciation that has been expressed not only by the girls but parents and teachers, I believe that this is an issue that the government will come um, on board 100% and, and, and champion it and take it over because it should be a government-owned project.